Listen, when it comes to systems of demons, listen, I want y'all to be able to investigate and identify. Y'all have to be able to, to pinpoint what kind of systems of demons operate in your bloodline or operate against you. What does the enemy send your way? What kind of scenarios does he try to manipulate to get you to fall into the same traps? Maybe the same temptation, the same iniquity as your ancestors. That gets you to fall into the same patterns and same cycles your entire life or the same patterns and the same cycles as your ancestors did. <clears throat> so I want y'all to be able to really examine your life, amen? Examine your heart, examine the people in your bloodline and be able to identify what systems of demons operate against me. Because if you don't know, listen, you have to understand, you can't come out of what you don't know, amen? So you always need to be fasting and praying. You need to read your word. You need knowledge and wisdom to overcome these things. You need to constantly be strengthening your spirit, man. Fasting and praying and reading your word, it strengthens your spirit, man, and it also, what it does is it activates your spiritual sight and it amplifies your discernment so that when the enemy tries to attempt to cause you to work these systems again, when he manipulates these scenarios or he sends certain attacks your way, even when he sends certain people your way that you think are your friends, but whole time you got similar interests with that person, but y'all end up trauma bonding, so the friendship or the relationship, right, it ends up being built off of something demonic, but really that person was sent to derail you. Amen. But a lot of times that person is just like you. The enemy will send somebody who maybe you're attracted to or maybe somebody who you have similar interests with. But the whole time that person was sent to get you to fall into temptation or to distract you. So you have to be able to identify these things. Some of these systems of demons, just like rejection. If you've dealt with rejection and abandonment, what does that open up the door to? A whole system of demons like abandonment, rejection, offense, resentment, bitterness, unforgiveness. So now, because you've been rejected your whole life, now you end up paranoid. Okay, now you end up projecting that uh, rejection onto everybody else that you meet. Now, everybody that comes into your life, you end up paranoid. You end up miscommunicating with them. You end up mistreating them based off of your past. Now, guess what? Ignorantly, you're working that system of demons. So you're always going to be in that same trap until you're able to identify these things, bring them to God and heal from them. Amen. See, sometimes you need to get those demons cast out of you, <clears throat> but it's not just a matter of getting the demon cast out of you. Amen. You need knowledge and wisdom and you need to strengthen your spirit. And also, I always tell people this to stop yourself. OK, from falling back into those old systems, you need a new system. A life of fasting and prayer, a life of sanctification, a life of reading your word. Amen. You need a healthy system of healthy habits and you also need a system of healthy people around you. Other believers, other apostles, prophets, other intercessors that are going to hold you accountable, that are going to give you correction and that are going to push you toward your destiny. Because if you don't have that structure in your life, that's why it's so easy for people to go to church, get a demon cast out of them. But as soon as they leave the church. Guess what? The enemy manipulates a scenario. He sends a person to tempt you. He sends something that maybe you're attracted to. And guess what? You go back, you leave the church, you run into that same system. And if you don't have a system that's structuring you and pushing you the right way, you fall back into the old system. Amen. Listen, I just wanted to give you all this revelation. I hope this could um, really open your eyes. I love y'all and God bless.